Hello and welcome to my reaction to a new Nemofila live performance and this is Amatelas. I just think, I think Amatelas is uh, a thing like it's a god of, uh, of something in Japanese mythology. I forgot what, I think it was in the game Okami, you know, about like playing a wolf god. Uh, and I think the Okami was Amaterasu? Maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was some kind of fire god or something. I forget, maybe you guys will educate me. But yeah, I guess this is the song I haven't heard, so it should be pretty awesome. Should be pretty awesome, as always. Any Nemo feel live performance, of course I'm going to check it out. It's uh, 7 a.m. and it's some energy to wake up. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, I was already doing some some metal songs before this, so I'm already woken up, but you know, Nemo feel is gonna wake me up even more, right? Uh, so yeah, should be awesome. Link in the description for the Orge of the Year. Link to my Discord if you want to follow me, my stream Element and Patreon if you want to support me, request reaction, get access to ton of blocks reaction only on my Patreon. Let's fucking go. Amateras. Oh, I'm just saying. Okay. So yeah, it seems to have like a, a classic vibe. Huh? Interesting. Is it like sumo wrestlers in my grandma? Cool riff song. Okay. <laughs> Nemofila trying not to touch every channel possible. Impossible channels. The variety always uh, is awesome. Man. His screams are just perfect. Hmm. It's a very party track, huh? Alright. Really, like, yeah, Nemofila just touching every genre. I don't even know what this was count as, but. It does not feel like any of the other songs that they've done. And out of it, I love that they, again, they're just a band that will do everything. Like, can they even be, I guess overall you might say death metal as a band, but even then it's like, I feel like that's not very accurate considering the variety and style that they have in every song. Like, uh, it's not even accurate. They're just like, uh, yeah, their own thing. They're really their own thing. My use vocals are just mm. like once again she's singing with this kind of like a cute party like a kind of fun uh, fun vibe and then the next second she goes into like the the most nasty freaking scream that's like you feel it through your bone it's just the best. Transition is like so small. Very maximum the armor in this part. Mm, love it. You can like start and stop uh, super fast. Huh? That is cool. Freaking hell. Oh, oh. Oh. She's kidding it. Oh yeah. Man, I really want to like replay this whole part, but I'll just listen to the song later. 
that's absolutely sick. The like non-stop kind of building feeling to it. It just keeps going up and up and up in intensity and like the harshness of it. That's sick. This is really one of the vocalists, huh? Nice. It's a weird, unexpected pose, but I really like it. Nice. A little chorus from everybody, it's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, that was a great one. That was a sick song, probably my favorite of the live performance in the last couple that they posted. Though, obviously, they always post uh, totally amazing stuff, but yeah, might be. It does look like this might be from an older live, or am I crazy? Hmm, maybe not, maybe not. I don't know, like, uh, the location looks pretty small compared to like some of the more recent ones I've seen. Uh, yeah, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, this is really good. Again, just uh, the showcase of, like, Nemophila just, you know, they're into so many different genres and they, they don't mind, like, including them in their songs. Like, the bass is metal. That's what they do, mainly. But then it's, like, you know, all the subgenre of metal, plus then just, like, you know, other, like, genre of music added in, from pop to, to, um, disco it was, to, like, uh, ballad and just other things. And yeah, just like mission mashed everything together until it just comes out as a pretty awesome sound of its own that uh yeah, it doesn't feel like uh anything else. It's just it's just really great. It's just really great. Seriously, they've got such an amazing sound. It's really like you can put on any Nemophila song and you know, very likely you're gonna get something quite different. I mean they do have a fair amount of like more straightforward this metal song here and there, but even then, like uh overall the variety, the variety. I can't get enough. I can't get enough. And as I keep saying, like, you know, as I obviously, you know, it's not really like uh, something I plan to in the first place, but as I react to so many of this, like, old girl kind of like Japanese rock and metal band, um, it's a really good one. And again, it's like, uh, it's hard to like even find a favorite at this point because they all have pretty distinct style um, in their own way. But yeah, Nemophila is always so stand out. Uh, it's really like hard to choose, right? I'm sure some of you, you know, I have like a, a favorite, but for me, it's like so, so hard to choose, like uh, in all those like, uh, you know, big or smaller, like uh, rock and metal band from Japan, not even just the old girl one, just of all the, you know, the, the rock and metal bands, yeah, uh, it's really hard to choose because the talent is insane, the variety of music is insane, and uh, it just feels so standout, yeah, so standout. It's great stuff, it's really great stuff. <clears throat> uh, fire track, yeah. Oh, well, um... How different it feels. Different it feels. Okay, well, I know I'm going to be looping this song today. Uh, that's for sure. So good. I still have like that chorus. Uh, uh, like stuck in my head. It's a really good one. It's a really good one. Okay, but I really enjoyed it. As always, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. See you soon.